Laces on your boots do way more than just tie your foot in place. They actually influence how well you can kick the ball to, believe it or not. So in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down the different styles of lacing system and how you can match them to your style of kicking. But before we get into that, as always, please just drop down there, give the video a like, comment down below which style of lacing you prefer, and make sure you subscribe to the channel for everything rugby. Let's get into the video. So we're going to start off at the very beginning with the classic straight laced boots. Now, I would say these are designed for the more modern day kicker. Think of Owen Farrell, Andre Pollard, for example, and I'll explain to you why that is the case. It's all to do with the evolution of kicking tees. Now, back in the day, people used to kick off sand flat off the ground, and that altered their style of kicking to be more side footed. But now tees have evolved to this high kicking tee that we have and that alters the way that you kick and strike the ball. Let me demonstrate. So starting with our low lying kicking tee, when I put the ball on it, you'll see that because it's so much lower to the ground, I cannot reach plantar flexion in my kicking foot without my toe sticking into the ground. Therefore, I have to come more side on and side foot the ball to have a square contact to send the ball to target. However, this is how tees have evolved. Now they're so much higher to allow you to stay so much bigger, which is a better way of kicking because you can utilize more energy. Now I can stay in plantar flexion, but because the ball's higher off the ground, I can strike it cleanly without my toes scruffing the ground. And you want to do that because your quad is far bigger than your groin and a stronger muscle group to contribute energy to the kick. And therefore I hit straight on my laces, as a footballer would say, hitting the ball with your laces, going right through it. That doesn't mean you can't still side the, the ball, but the boots aren't necessarily designed exactly for that. And that's where we come on to the second category of laces, which is asymmetric laces. The first major innovation in lacing technology on boots came in the form of the asymmetric lacing system. The idea of it was to increase the surface area that you have to strike the ball with, to not only maximize your strike on the ball, but also to mitigate that room for error, giving you more area to hit the ball well. And they did that to also increase the surface area that the boot manufacturer can increase the grip you have on the ball. So for example, with the RS15 that we've got here, there's a layer of coating with some grippy texture on it that helps you control the ball in all weather conditions. Now you don't really find that on those traditional straight lace boots that like we saw in the Tiempo, but it does depend on what style of kicker you are. I'd say that this new modern boot is somewhat of a classic style of kicker's best bet. Think of the likes of George Ford, for example. And again, I'm gonna explain why. So we have our high kicking tee, we have our low kicking tee. Taking the low kicking tee, as we explained before, you're in more of a side on side foot position. So when I come to strike the ball, I can't reach full plantar flexion, otherwise my toe digs in the ground. Therefore, I have to turn my foot out to expose that increased surface area to strike the ball and side foot the ball. I'd argue it's not as effective as an efficient because you're not using a major muscle group, you're using your inner thigh, but it can lead to a better strike on the ball, especially with the right boots, which can then compromise for that and give you that distance that you need. That being said, doesn't mean you can't kick off a high kicking tee because you have asymmetrically laced boots. As we'll see when I put the ball on the higher tee, it just means I've got to get a little bit more width in my plant foot. I can still come side on. And realistically, that's what the boot's designed for. You can roll your foot over, but at that point, you're then contacting with the corner of the laces. And it's just not what the boot's really made for. It's made for that side on strike, like George Ford, for example, does, where he keeps his head down and just follows along rather than following through. Let's see if we can give this one a good shot. It's going to come side onto the ball compress it with the side foot and get along after it. It's about being side on. It's about hitting with that bigger surface area with all those grippy bits on top to really optimize your kicking. Right then, if that wasn't already too much nausing for you, we have the final category of lacing systems and that is laceless boots. It's the latest innovation when it comes to lacing technology. And as it says on the tin, 
there's no laces to be found on these boots, which gives you obviously the largest flat surface area for you to strike the ball with, which of course is ideal for any kicker. However, you have to remember, you're only gonna be kicking the ball for probably a total of 10 seconds if you add up all the time that you're actually striking the ball in a game. What you are gonna be doing a whole lot more of is running around the pitch. And that's where it makes a little bit of a compromise because you've got no laces, the lockdown is a little bit less than you're gonna find on a traditionally laced boot. But as I said, it gives you that surface area to strike the ball with, which just makes things a little bit more interesting, a little bit more fun because there's no limitations. I can kick in whatever way I possibly want, however I wanna do it, just with a completely flat surface to do it with. It's pretty fun. It's pretty unique. Definitely something I've never experienced without any other boot before, but it's individual preference at the end of the day. Whatever works for you, works for you. And this only just works for me. I appreciate there is a whole lot of nauseating detail in that video. And I'm sure there's some of you at home probably thinking, shut up and kick the ball, mate. But for those of you who do appreciate your kicking process and the detail of it, I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like down below. Comment your favorite style of lacing. Subscribe to the Level Rugby YouTube. Oh, and by the way, you can pick up each of these boots on the Level Rugby website, along with countless other options for you to kick the ball as best you possibly can. I'll see you guys in the next one.